Let's learn how to make a stacked, trendy streetwear design text effect right now in Kittle. All right, so I'm using the Basement Grotesque font. I think this effect works really nicely with sans serif fonts. Of course, you could use whatever you want, but I really love just a thick, grotesque font. Um, and this is what we're going to use to make the effect, and it's super, super simple. So this is what's going to be our main text, right? Our, our bottom base, if you will. It's going to be completely fill, filled in, so you see the whole text says urban so then what we want to do is hold the alter option key to drag to duplicate and then what we need to do is put an effect on this that basically cuts the text into two colors so now we have a gray color and we have a red color so now we have two colors for this text now I'm gonna set this color cut the top color back to red so it was gray now I'm hitting red and it's back to red. So then you see both colors. Here is the primary color text which serves as the bottom color. And what I'm gonna do is just take it off. I'm making it transparent. So now this effect just has the top of the text left. That color cut is just affecting the top. So then what I can do is go over here and what's really cool is move the distance. So I can reveal or hide as much of this text as I want to. So that's really a cool way to make this color cut effect uh, to make this stacked cut effect without using Illustrator and having to clip a bunch of masks and things like that. So now I can place it right here on top and what I'm going to do is hold the shift key and then I'm going to use the up arrow and I'm going to hit it twice. And this that's what I'm going to use to make sure my spacing is correct for each one. So then all I have to do is duplicate it, move the distance back maybe another 20% or so or, or more depending on what the severity of the effect, stack it right on top just like this and then I'm gonna hold shift boom two clicks up so that way I'm making all of my spacing the same so I'll do the same thing take that down another 20 to 30 percent so that's just the top of it line it up nudge it down just to make sure it's on top boom two clicks to make sure the spacing is complete and then what I'm gonna do with this one is take it down even further so it's basically just the very top of this design so look at that super easy I just duplicated the same text a couple times and with that color cut effect and transparency it's perfect so then you can group this together with command G if you want then you can center the whole thing around and now you have a ton of variability to do things with this design I can change the background color to make it anything I want I can even take it off and boom look it's seamless I can use this for streetwear of course which was the idea for this tutorial um, or you could use it for anything else you can also select the design and change your font so you can use a completely different font. Now, depending on the size of the font, like this really condensed one, you'll have to go in there and change your spacing a little bit, okay? So what we'll have to do is grab a couple of these, move the spacing down a little bit. You could also use the tidy tool if you want uh, to get your spacing correct, depending on the font that you use. But that's how simple it is to get this effect. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.